What's up guys? Today's video I'm gonna paint the Mitsubishi. Uh, the, what is it, smoke gray, Rust-Oleum. I already have the car already sanded and I had washed it already but as you can tell there's still some dust on it. So before I start tacking it, I'm gonna remove the, um, the window, tape this, tape this back window. Uh, I'm just gonna throw some plastic. This is the seven mil. It's just a plastic cloth, six feet by nine feet. I mean, nine feet by twelve feet. There you go. So I'm gonna cover the front, the whole top of the car, on this side. Uh, the trunk is already moved. Everything's already sanded. This side. Took off the um, fuel door right here. I'm gonna take this cap off and just. Uh, mask right there and I'm gonna paint all this on the inside for now I'm just gonna keep it right there so I don't lose it and on the inside check it out so yeah on the inside I had already uh, sanded right here the door sill and as I was washing it I also threw some water and soap and I washed the interior um, the other day I washed the carpet so I didn't want to put the carpet back on and the interior being dirty as hell so I went ahead and threw some water and soap. That's my state of the art racing chair. So yeah everything's already done so I'm just going to set you up uh, so I can take these windows off and mask and just plastic the, the car. So I guess let me just put you guys in the tripod and let's get started. Check it out. Taped up the whole front end and the top of the car. Right now, I'll show you what I'm gonna do right here with these uh, things for the trunk. But all this is taped up. So next thing, windows. Alright guys, so we're gonna start mixing the paint. This is the smoke gray from Rustoleum.
right guys I just threw the last coat of paint I actually wasn't counting how many coats I was uh, throwing I just uh, did around the whole car a couple times until I felt like it was completely painted I used one whole quart of paint and I started on the second one and this that's how much I have left on the second one it's a little bit over half right now uh, but check out these results pretty decent uh, there's some places that I didn't paint like right here because these are gonna go black so I didn't want to paint those um, check out that paint right there I sprayed right here this I don't know what this is called the door pillar door jam whatever um, on the inside too so it's just to show a little bit of quality here um, this is where the rain rail goes I painted you should see the division right there where it separates the gray and the black after I removed the clear the, the plastic but let me see if I can get some reflection on this one this one came out pretty decent um, I just threw the last bit of paint right here on this one so you can still see a bit of uh, orange peel uh, right now since the Sun is already down uh, the paint actually expands better when it's hot or with the Sun so but there's nothing to worry about like I said you still have to wet sand and polish the paint uh, for now that's gonna be it right now I'm just gonna let it air dry right there inside I don't want to start taking off the plastics and then the plastic fall over the, the, the new paint so I do want to um, just put it on neutral and just you know roll the car outside I see all right guys first off I want to apologize for how late it is but let me show you the car here it is ta-da all right so this is not the full car already built and everything but this is a pretty good sneak peek I still have the hood which is already painted and I got the fenders already painted but the only parts I need are the front bumper the rear bumper and the trunk so those uh, on my next video I'm not gonna show you how I'm gonna paint those because you guys already saw the video where I painted the roof black and where I painted well this video where I painted the car the smoke gray so next video should be the whole reveal the car already fully built hopefully wet sand and polished already but for now check out this uh, this paint I know you can't really see the full effect of the paint but trust me it came out good looking good looking <laughs> it came out pretty good there's that black on top this side you can't see nothing but trust me guys it's gonna look amazing so here's the car the car the color I use about one and a half quarts here I should use the other half a quart on those other parts but that's how it's looking so far so that's gonna be it guys thank you guys so much for watching expect the next video within a couple days I'm just gonna let this paint dry in the meantime like I said I'm gonna paint those other parts and I'll see you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.